Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are diving a little bit more into Constella.app, which is a new uh, visual note-taking app. I did a first impression video on them, but this is more of a review where I go more in-depth into how the application works, the pros and the cons of this. and. You just have to keep in mind that this is a really new application with a small team, so everything is not perfect yet, and there are still a lot of improvements that needs to be done. But the idea of this is actually really good, and just the way the application works without some uh, minor issues uh, is actually really, really good. So let's jump into the idea of the application. Uh, so. Uh, first of all, you have a level system here, which I like. This uh, allows you to see how much knowledge you have ac uh, accumulated. And that is really important in an application like this, because this application relies on AI to help you connect different things. So think of it as something like napkin notes, uh, which uh, uses AI to allow you to uh, connect different ideas you have uh, together when you are not able to see those ideas yourself, which is really good in an application like this, because let's say you have a thousand or two thousand notes inside of here, and that actually applies to all different note-taking apps. When you have that many notes, it is a little hard to um, to actually be able to control and to organize them in a way that makes you find those notes later. That is where AI comes in in an application like this, especially in an application like this with no other organization except for uh, the ability to add a tag, where, which I can do here. And I can press the tag, but I only get them uh, like this. So I get to see them uh, in this view. Um, but it uses AI to help you connect different things together. And it also allows you to connect them manually, like I can hold and drag uh, things together if I w ever wanted to. Um, so I could just drag different things together, but it isn't like the uh, Windows application. I haven't tested the Mac application, but the Windows application isn't uh, always working properly. Uh, it is a really buggy. It has been really buggy when I have been testing it out. So that is just something to keep in mind. But as I said, it is at a really early stage and it will uh, need uh, some work before it uh, before it is at the level we want it to be or at the level where I can say that I really recommend this application. But as I said, the idea of this is really good. So let me just go ahead and remove the tags. Here we actually have uh, here we have uh, an arrow, which I can seem to uh, remove, uh, but let's just go ahead and delete those notes here, like this. Uh, but you can actually, as I said, add arrows and even add arrows to new notes if you wanted to. So let's say I have a note related to this one, I can just do it like this. Um, so that is a really cool uh, feature that they have. You can also add them together like this, as I mentioned. But uh, when I uh, open up the tags, it doesn't work as well. Uh, but you get the point. You can manually connect them, or uh, you can actually uh, you can actually um, rely on AI to just resurface things whenever you need them. Uh, that is the basic way the application works, but it also has a daily notes feature where I can write something. Uh, let's say I wanted to write about uh, procrastination. Let's say, if, let's see if I can spell it right. Uh, let's say I wanted to uh, write about procrastination. As you can see, when I write it in here, it brings up uh, things related to procrastination. But uh, if I remove this now, and let's say I wanted to write about creativity. Let's try again, creativity like this. It surfaced things uh, regarding creativity. So that is the whole point. You can do it either through here and once I've written something, uh, I can actually just drag it into uh, my uh, board here to create a new, let's call it a card. I'm not sure if they are called cards, but let's call it a card for now. Um, so I can 
drag it into here to create a new card. So this functions sort of as an inbox uh, and I can go back and forward between dates. So that is a really, really cool feature. That is the whole application and this works for search as well. So let's say I wanted to write about creative, uh, creativity like this. Uh, it uh, shows up right here and if I wanted to make this into a new note I could choose a tag here and I can press enter and it will uh, create a new note for me. So it uses AI to actually uh, help you uh, help you organize and help you find the right things at the right moment. So again, think of this as something like napkin notes. Um, so I really like the idea here. I think the AI is really good, but let's talk about some of the issues. So as I mentioned earlier, the uh, Mac, uh, no, the Windows application is buggy. It has bugs and uh, some of them might be bugs, some of them might just be features that needs to be changed, but let's just take a small one for example. Let's say I wanted to drag this and actually organize my board the way I wanted to organize, that, uh, organize it. Uh, and if I do now press books, I get all of my books. If I remove this books, it goes back to normal. Like this is the default stage of uh, how your cards look. Uh, and that it isn't like the biggest issue, but I would actually like to have uh, the ability to move things on my board um, like this. Uh, so that is a minor thing. Another, uh, another couple of things are like the search doesn't always work. I've had some issues with it. I have had issues with the app crashing a couple of times, but I have to say that it has been a little bit more stable the last like three to four days. The last thing I wanted to mention uh, about uh, the negative sides of this uh, or the issues that needs to be fixed before I talk about the issues with the overall philosophy of something like this um, is that uh, I can open these up. So here I have a note uh, right here. I can actually open this up uh, and then this becomes sort of the header of the note and then I can uh, write inside of here and I have different uh, ways to write and format things uh, and I can use markdown as well. Uh, so that is great but uh, the issue becomes like here for example I have uh, a note and I have things written inside of the note. Uh, it, it might just be a me issue, but uh, I struggled a bit to know whether or not I wanted to uh, have my whole note inside of here because then you get the preview of your whole note, but that might be an issue for like bigger notes. Um, the second thing that I uh, struggled a little bit with was uh, if I just wanted to write a note about creativity and I wanted to... Um, I wanted to uh, have a title and then have my note with in here. That makes it so there are multiple steps to creating a note. Uh, and I like the fact that uh, an application can quick capture things, that it is really easy to capture things. Like the same goes for this right here. I can drag this onto my board, but then I have to open it up and I have to write the whole note. Uh, I could drag this into here uh, like this, like taking a title. If I were to like just write test here and then write my uh, note inside of here, I could actually drag this into uh, the note part of it, but it is a small thing. Uh, like I think, uh, I think the idea here is that uh, you should have your um, title of a note here uh, but I would like it if they could show a preview of the whole note uh, in the card view like this uh, without me uh, having to press or do anything. I would like the ability to have uh, either through your settings or whatever they choose to do, having the ability to um, to have a preview of my note within the cards because right now I'm just using the 
uh, tidal uh, space to just write the whole note, which isn't perfect, but uh, it is what it is right now. Uh, when it comes to uh, the philosophy of this, I really like the philosophy. I think the app has a great idea. I would like more stable uh, the apps to be more stable. Uh, some minor fixes to the UI. But in general, I really like the idea of AI organizing and helping you resurface things. We also have an AI chat, which I also do like, uh, so I can talk to my AI chat here. Uh, and I like the fact that uh, the chat allows you to uh, use it as um, as a search engine. So uh, this might be great even for uh, researching different topics. Uh, so in general, I like the application. I'm not sure I would recommend it yet. Uh, I probably would not recommend this application yet, both because of the uh, bugs and the issues, but also because of the pricing compared to what you are actually getting here. Uh, so the pricing of this is, I am currently on the free trial, which of course is free for 14 days, but after that it will set me back 5.99, uh, which is more of a symbolic uh, pricing uh, for something like this, because my guess is that when they release the application this will be more expensive, uh, just by comparing it to the other AI applications on the market. Uh, so I'm not saying that the pricing is terrible, but uh, it isn't necessarily worth what you are getting, at least not on the Windows application. Uh, it might be on the Mac, uh, and they are also working on a mobile application, which is in limited beta, uh, and it is looking really good from the pictures I have seen. Uh, but not having a mobile application as well is a small issue. But as I said, they are a small team. And honestly, the last like 12, 13 days, 10 days, something like that, it's been since the last time I looked at this application, it has uh, become a little better. Uh, and that is an important thing to have in the back of your mind. So not necessarily recommending this right now, but... Uh, really keeping my eye uh, out uh, for the updates and how this application develops because the idea is good enough to become like a top tier um, a top tier note taking app in the future but that might take time and it all depends on whether or not they are both able to market this well but also to develop it well that was everything for today's video if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below uh, and i hope to see you again quite soon.